which is becoming DNA. If you can't absorb that much spin, then you become toast. <laughs> so here come the lightning, right? The solar wind approaches. What's going to hold us together? The Mayans said, unless the dream spell of the old ones is alive and awake in symmetry <coughs> space, Earth will be blown away in the magnetic wind of the sun. Now you know what a dream spell is. The greatest likelihood, the greatest predictor of your being able to test, take memory through death is your skill to lucid dream. Do you even know what a lucid dream is? This is the language of the angels. It is your ability to steer that plasma storm. If you'd like to study the physics, study fractality and phase conjugation. But the physics is not absolutely required. What is required is the ability to feel and to feel something very large and to take responsibility for it. These elemental forces do indeed consider us drunk for not calling them. And this is the time in history when we must. Actually, it's true. John Dee, who found that Enochian physics, went to his grave. He had learned all of these Enochian calls, how to call plasma storms the size of stars. I've been there, I've done it, I know it's real. And John Dee went to his grave and never tried it. You know why? He was afraid. You aren't afraid to call angels, are you? Thank you very much. <laughs> Any questions? Thoughts, comments? What is a dream spell? A dream spell is the fact that when you create a coherence in your charge envelope, that coherence grows and grows. And so if people do that together, the collective agreement creates a magnetic field which is coherent. That's a dream spell. A dream spell is literally the ability of you or a group to create a coherent charge field. The profound schizophrenia of our culture is that we think that your spirit is something separate from matter. That's schizophrenia. That's a fatal disease. Do not catch that disease. The correct physics is that it's a unified field. That means the physics of your immortality requires that you understand that your ability to take memory through death is an electric field. So if you sleep next to a lot of electrosmog, you are risking your soul. Do not put your grandparents to their deathbed in an electrosmog hell. It is a mistake. And that mistake starts when we, we think that our spiritual body is something separate from our physical body. That is a, is, is a fatal disease. We must see that connection. Yes? Go ahead. What would you be talking about when you tell us an electrosmog? What would it be in ordinary life? Electrosmog is when your clock radio is too close to your bed. Electrosmog is when your electric heater or your electric blanket these are devices which are creating frequencies which do not embed or nest. The definition of live is L into the I of phi. The definition of evil is the inverse, the inverse spelling, which is to turn out of the focus of embedding or recursion. An example of evil, a very instructive example, is the fluorescent light in your kid's classroom. If you take that fluorescent light out and you install sunlight, you measure a dramatic increase in attention span. The reason is, the sunlight has the frequency recipe which defines attention, which is fractal. The spectral emission lines of hydrogen in the Balmer series are golden ratio. That light is producing frequencies which fail to embed in biology, and they prevent the possibility of attention, because the person who designed it didn't understand what attention is. The ability to create attention requires, it's, it's really quite simple physics. If you look at someone having peak perception, you can measure the frequency recipe of their brain waves. And they make this phenomena called phase conjugation or fractality. So if you take this, um, I think I have the pictures here. Here's someone having a bliss experience, actually. They're making golden ratio in their brain waves. When you sell this to bank managers, we call it peak perception, but it's bliss, actually. <laughs> But the ability to make golden ratio defines peak perception because 
Phase conjugation is not only the electric symmetry and cause of gravity. Phase conjugation is the electric cause and symmetry of perception. You know for sure that when you sit under a sacred tree, you see more clearly. Everything gets sharp. But did you know the physics? The electric field of that tree is more fractal. Do you have a question? Um, um, a different question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, it, it just was, I just was wondering if you thought all electrons are devices gave off an electric smog. I wondered if you'd seen the um, it's true. There's, there's a bunch of Tesla devices, the scalar wave devices. The, the sad thing is most of those devices are like handing a baby a pacifier. <clears throat> if, if, you, if you have a watch that, that makes the Schumann resonance 8 hertz, and you put it on, you get a short burst of euphoria. And then just like the baby who put a pacifier in their mouth, they realize there's no milk in the damn thing. <laughs> okay. You see, the Schumann resonance is the carrier wave. It's not the information. Okay. So, so the, the ability to actually reach the information requires that you truly embed in nature. And that can't be synthesized, actually. It means that you actually need phase conjugation. You need the real biologic fractal. Which is another way of saying, run, don't walk, move to nature. <laughs> Go. What do you mean by information? What do I mean by... You said it's the carrier wave, it's not the information. That's right, that's right. In other words, and the, my friend Andrea Puharik invented the Tesla watch, and it made a little Schumann resonance. Now, we did all those experiments together, okay? You can take about four millivolts and take a two-cent piece of aluminum foil on the ceiling and floor and zap it with eight hertz, and everyone in the room feels, ooh, a little rush. It's a very short-term rush, however. It doesn't last long. Because all the cells in your body think, oh, oh, ET can now phone home. And then they realize, oh, I just got the dial phone, but I can't dial anything. Okay, because in fact, that Schumann resonance is actually not in phase with the Earth. Okay, so the low frequency is the carrier wave. It's not the information. The information is actually a cascade that's modulated right through the speed of light. Do you think we can have some sort of... Uh, mm, I don't know... I just my, my friend has one of these um it's like a wand, you know, it gives off this resin. Was it made by Slim Sperling? I can't I think it was Glenn Morgan. I think it was Glenn Morgan. And his granddad had this um inner ear problem that meant he just kept falling over all the time. Mm -hmm. And he slept maybe for about six weeks, two months with it under his pillow every night and he goes on and he stopped falling over. He was getting off his bones. It's, it's true that bone conductivity is a way to measure your sensitivity. And in autism cases, they measure the percentage of your hearing, which is through the air versus through your bone. And people who are more, more bone conductive are far more sensitive to things like bioactive speakers and spiritual devices. It's actually true. So this is a very fascinating science, yes. But any other questions or thoughts? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> The energetics of the building materials that we're using in cities. And Lovely. Houses. Lovely question. Thank you. Dan is serving our little agenda here. We have developed a curriculum called Biologic Architecture. And it stems from this notion that the ability to make a building create the right electric field to germinate a seed will then define architecture. So the ability to detect an arch that's a living capacitor. You can measure the change in seed germination, it can be as much as 30%. So we suggest that the architect's paycheck be determined by the rate at which the building acid capacitor causes seed germination. And this is actually something called phase conjugate or biologic material. So when you layer conductive versus non-conductive in a phase conjugate symmetry, as here, you create growth force in the center. So the magnetic map of a city actually needs to be a rose to work, or in this case, back as Dan was trying to point out, is a magnetic map of a heart, which is a pretty good start, actually. <laughs> the problem is, the steel and aluminum in the city, or in the house, is opposite the phase conjugate. So the physics is, is that if your roof is made of metal, it can limit your dreaming and your ability to die. And that's physics. This is what architects need to be willing to realize. If you look at how a pine cone makes light, it makes life by being fractal and packing and unpacking according to its need to get voltage from gravity. 
And that fractality that causes voltage to come from gravity is the origin of light. And cities need to be alive just like pine cones. So cities need to be made of the same materials as pine cones and the same geometry. In practice, in practice, this means you need to run and not walk to get the steel and aluminum out of your house, starting with your bedroom and kitchen, actually. It's really true. You need to bake and cook with phase conjugate or biologic materials. Glass is pretty good. Some ceramics are not bad. But get that steel and aluminum out of there. It's very simple. Put your hand on a piece of aluminum, and you will know 